and they lived happily ever after. That's a good, that's a good, uh, oh, hey. Hey guys, what's going on? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I know the videos aren't coming every day, that's fine. I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can. But, uh, yeah. No, let's try that. Uh, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, what... Hey guys, what's going on? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I know I haven't been posting up videos and I'm going to keep... No, no, no apologizing. Just do the video and just finish it off. Okay. <sighs> hey guys, what's going on? Hopefully you're doing well. You know, ever since um, my wife got pregnant, I've been uh, doing... Actually trying to learn how to do storytelling a bit more. And I tried to do some storytelling to... Uh, my baby that's inside of her right now uh, while she while we were uh, in bed before we go to sleep and uh, the awesome thing was I uh, I realized about doing that was that I'm not that good of a storyteller so <laughs> I ended up looking um, on my bookshelf and I found a very old book that my my wife's aunt had given to her when she was younger and it's a whole collection of classic fairy tales. And I really like fairy tales. I like, you know, anything that has to do with mag magic and, and whatnot. And I took a look through this, and they were really long stories. So what I've been doing almost every night, or uh, well, at least we tr I tried to do, is read a uh, story to my unborn child. And um, I never knew I was able to read so well and have so many accents in one, one time. And I think that's the only time I can actually make an accent without my wife getting mad at me. So it's uh, it's quite a fun fun thing to do. Um, I was to listen to some of these stories uh, in in written form. It's kind of odd how everyone has a different take of uh, classic fairy tales. Um, right now, Rolo and I are watching uh, Once Upon a Time that's on TV. And that is pretty much about all storybook characters and anything that has to do with fairy tales. And there's also uh, this, the older grown-up version of that type of uh, genre, which is grim. And that's a pretty scary uh, story as well that on, that's on television that goes totally out of whack with all the fairy tale creatures. But uh, the thing I really notice the most about these stories are... Are some of them aren't really happy endings. Um, it was kind of odd because uh, today I read uh, a story. It was about Little Red Riding Hood. And, you know, I've watched so many cartoons about this. The story has been retold over and over again. But in the version I read today, Little Red Riding Hood actually gets eaten by the wolf. And that's the end of the story. So... <laughs> It is a pretty scary, scary thing to read to children. So it uh, makes me wonder what the, the PG version is of that story and whether or not... I think the, the most well-known rendition of that story that I remember was uh, when they talked about the woodcutters in the woods. Uh, one of them actually saves uh, Little Red Riding Hood and then cuts uh, the grandma out of the wolf's stomach. So... Um, I guess the story that I knew was wrong, and this story apparently is the, the closest to true uh, true retelling or true telling of Little Red Riding Hood or the person who actually wrote it. So, but yeah, it it makes me wonder whether or not all the stories that I remember uh, happened the way they happened. I'm I'm gonna have to go back and read a couple of things, and you know, I it it's really interesting because I you know some of the morals of those stories actually. Uh, work in in today's real life, but I guess everyone learns something new every day, right? So, all right. Well, I guess that's it. That's my rant. I hope you guys are doing good. You know, tell me what stories are you reading? I think I think a lot of people have been reading uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, but I don't think that's a good bedtime story for little children um yeah you know what let me know what you guys are reading right now i'm enjoying fairy tales uh don't forget to comment rate subscribe 
hopefully you get to see another video out soon with me mixing some more trance and talking about more about becoming a DJ, starting it up and everything. Um, but yeah, you guys have a good one. Take care. Talk to you soon. Cheers.